Center. Hope you're all doing well. And today we are going to uh, demonstrate for you how a disc board treatment is done. And disc board is in the class of neurotoxins, just like Botox. And the reason we're going to use disc board rather than Botox today is because Lexi here has a holiday party on Saturday and she really wants to look good and she wants to look her best. And disc board works a little bit faster than Botox does in terms of onset of action. It just starts to work a little bit faster. Um, and it also tends to last a bit longer. That's what we found in our patients. So that's what we're going to use. And first I am going to go ahead and clean off her skin. It's very important to have a nice clean surface to work on so we don't get any kind of infection or biofilm. And you can come up a little bit closer so we can go ahead and take a look at how we're going to mark um, the area to be treated. Now, Lexi has had Dysport in the past. It's been about six months that she had her last treatment. So we might see a bit of a residual effect still from the last time. Go ahead and squeeze your frow brow for me there, Lexi. You can see that she has some movement, but it's definitely muted compared to previous. And that's one good thing we notice about patients who regularly do get Botox or Dysport is that their muscle starts to atrophy or weaken. And then over time, um, they sometimes don't need it quite as frequently as before. So we'll go ahead and mark out where her muscle belly is strong here. And those will be good points for us to inject the disc board. And then go ahead and raise up your brows, Lexi. Some patients have much more marked forehead lines. Um, hers, she's still young. They're just uh, slight, but she wants to prevent those from getting deeper over time. So we'll go ahead and make a few injections along here and she also wants to get a bit of a brow lift so we'll um, inject in the lateral brow to give her a bit of an elevation to her brow. So those are good points for injection. It's fairly painless. Right Lexi? Yeah. Not too painful. Nope. So we'll go ahead and start here. Here we go, the first injection. How was that? Not bad. Not bad. And it nope. goes fairly quick. And laterally here, I like to just stay a little bit more superficial based on the muscle anatomy. You can see there's hardly any bleeding really with this. Patients very rarely at all bruise with Botox injections, and if there is a little bleeding, we'll just hold some pressure on it and usually stops fairly quickly. It is a good idea not to take any NSAIDs like aspirin or ibuprofen or fish oil or vitamin E for up to two weeks prior to doing any kind of an injectable treatment just to avoid your chances of bruising. We also have Arnica Montana here in the office that patients can take um, in case they are worried about bruising. And I'm going to inject a slight amount here uh, closer to the brow. I usually try to stay away from being too close to the brow, but um, patients don't like getting that spock like or that peaked appearance on the lateral brow. Um, so adding just a tiny bit of disport here is really helpful, and then adding disport to the lateral brow helps to bring that lift to the brow. So that's it, we're all done, and this will start working within a few days. And you should all come and visit us here and see how Lexi looks in a couple of days. You can ask her in person how much she loves it. That's it, thank you guys.